Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you okay? My wrist gave out. <laughs> I got weak wrists. Weak wrists. Weak wrists. <laughs> Every Christmas, baby, rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the present, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey. To give them a smile that lasts another year. If you're new here, my name is Kalia. And my name is James. So we're going to be decorating gingerbread houses and we're going to be answering some of the questions that you guys gave to us. This is a competition. It's, I mean, it's not really a competition, obviously. I'm going to just, I'm so creative. I like won like this art contest in like fifth grade. Oh my gosh. You know how many so. times I have heard that? <laughs> So we got these little pre-made houses. The hardest part, honestly, is done. I feel like that's probably like the yeah. hardest part in getting it to stay. <laughs> also, that Kalia definitely dropped my house. So mine already has like a little riggedy roof. No, it is not. They're right. both fine. They're both really sturdy. Okay, first question. First question. Where did you guys meet? We met at the University of Houston. Houston at this little old house called the Goat House. <laughs> goat House was a little party house and there was a party going on. I don't think I was gonna go and Clea claims the same thing. I think she was definitely gonna go. I was there with my friends. She was there with her friends. Then she made her way over to me. I was sitting on the counter and her and some of her um, teammates came up to us and they were saying hello, and um, but I had not met Kalia at this point. Is this supposed to come out easier than this? No, I feel like that's about good. <laughs> well, I'm not a good multitasker. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that. Honestly, neither one of us are good multitaskers. So I don't know why we thought this was a We'd good idea. We'd be able to answer questions and do this, but we're going to do our best. Let's go. So, they came over to me at the party, talking to Andrew. I had met her teammates before, but I had not met her yet. After talking to her friends and stuff, she was standing there acting like she uh, wasn't going to say hello. So I said, okay, hi, I'm James. And she looked at me and she like, said- I swear this story changes every you, What'd you say to me? She don't even remember. Wait, oh no, wait, well, I, wait, you lost me. <laughs> wait, what, did, go back again? You said that- She said, well, I heard about you. I was like, you heard about me? I don't. All bad things. No, I, hope. I don't think that's what he said. And she laughed and smiled. I don't and, think that's what you said. And then we right. started chopping it up. Yeah. I don't know what we were talking. I can't remember what we were talking about, but we were talking for a while. After the party, went to IHOP and stayed at IHOP until like 5 a.m. Just talking. Oh no! Look, my icing is coming out of the package. You gotta go easy what on the, the icing, babe. No, that's not good. Oh, you got. <laughs> Uh, I wish you guys could see this right now, actually. I'm going, I'm going to bring it back. And she was actually feeling me so much that she asked for my number. Asked me for my number. I was going to ask for her number, but no, she didn't weren't. give me the chance. No, she was just weren't. too excited. But I'm really glad she did because... Okay, Put me off the streets. I like mine's like really stiff. You gotta work it, babe. Oh. That looks good. That looks like real snow. Don't be looking over here trying to steal my ideas either. Is this edible? It's icing, babe. Yes. It probably doesn't taste good. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. So that's how we met. 
that's where we met. Wow, y'all asked where we met, yeah. and I went. Yeah, and... I did it. Okay, next question. Did you guys talk about when would be the first perfect time to have kids? We do not want any kids anytime soon. We do yeah. want to have kids, but not now. You know, we want to enjoy this each ridiculous. other. We want to enjoy each other, and we want to travel. Probably within the next. Once you have kids, it gets serious. You want them to learn two languages? I do, but I can't pay for a tutor right now. In depth about how you guys actually started dating. After the IHOP and I got her number, well, she gave me her number, um, she invited me to one of her soccer games. Yes. So I showed up, of course. After that, we just started hanging out all the time. And then I don't know if y'all know Chandler and Lex, but Chandler and Lex are best friends. They're also social media creators, so what? Uh, social media is that creators. Right Just content creators. They're content creators. <laughs> Chandler and I were on the football team at U of H, and then Kalia was on the soccer team, and Chandler and Kalia were like brothers, just like best friends. And so I knew of Chandler, but I didn't know Chandler until me and Kalia started hanging out, and then I, really got to know Chandler and then we all were the three best friends that anyone could have. We were spending a lot of time together. Like literally guys, day in, day out. Every mm -hmm. night like over at my apartment, we were like staying up late, playing Uno. Uno, what's Midnight the Werewolf. Oh yeah. Um, no, but, oh, um, um, what's that one with R, the, um. Rummy. No. Um. Um, with the bat, Risk, Risk. Risk. That's what it was. <laughs> I like when she can't think of something and she starts panicking. You can see it. Um. Um. Kalia was really catching the feels for the boy. I liked her, but I knew I wasn't ready for a relationship. So I, I kept telling her. Like, I wasn't like lying to her. I just kept telling her, hey, like, I'm really not ready for a relationship. I had just gotten out of a long relationship. Eventually, Kalia was like, hey, what's it gonna be? Make a decision. It was like after about a year, I basically told him, if we're not working towards a relationship, then I can't be hanging out with you and talking to you all the time because it was just too hard for me. And so we like went our separate ways for probably about like a month, right? Yeah, like try. Probably about at least try. Before we started hanging out again, and he said he was ready to like work towards a relationship. Couldn't stay away. And so yeah, about eight. Okay, um, we have become big brother super fans. And the crazy part <laughs> is, I, I have never seen a big brother episode yeah. in my life what? until Chandler and Lex. Yeah, told us about told us. watching like, the new season. Have y'all seen big brother? I was like, no. And they're like, y'all gotta watch big brother. So we started watching Big Brother. We have not stopped. We've been watching it straight, like almost every night for the past like three months. Yeah. If you can start from the earlier seasons yeah. because they, they like to pop in. Watch, watch, watch winner. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then that ruins it. They can't it. watch that one because unless you know who won. Unless you're those psychopaths that literally look up who wins before you finish watching the show because I knew a couple people like that in college that like for The Bachelor and Bachelorette they would look up the winner mm -hmm. before watching it. Okay, so I just finished my icing on that side. That's it. I'm very conflicted on what to do next because <laughs> something because <laughs> wow. <laughs> what ways have you or do you connect spiritually? I would say uh, like us going to church, us praying together. Our Sundays, like little Sunday resets. They're so much fun. We'll just be in the bathroom getting ready for church, listening to Kurt. Uh, Franklin. Kurt Frank. Praying uh, together. Look, our even life just group. Yeah. With Chandler and Lex. How do you get your curls to look so good? Oh, you're so sweet. I need to so, do like a little. When curl. I get out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, not straightening it. Because <laughs> everybody's curls are different, but not straightening your hair. Scalp massages with like different hair oils. Are you Ethiopian? No, I'm not Ethiopian. <laughs> I get that so much though. What is your favorite feature on one another? Feature? Yeah. Why are you looking great. at me like that? Because I was like, oh, I love your nose. Oh, I love your mouth. Oh, I love your hair. Oh, I love your eyes. You have to pick one. Your heart. 
beautiful. That is not a physical feature. Honestly, I love your smile. You do not smile enough. I think you have such a cute smile. He doesn't think it's that cute, and it's very cute. It's so attractive. He did so cute. I, saw I like to smile when it's natural. I'm not a good fake smiler. If you tell me a cheese in a photo and you didn't say nothing funny, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Wait, let me see. What did you see? When somebody's like, smile, take a picture. No, that is not true. I would smile a lot more if I was switched with her because she says that is her good side. And I this is not both, my good side. We, we have the same good side. I know, side. both my sides are good. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have a bad side. Bet. Lately, I've been feeling down and I just want to be happy and not be stressed. What keeps y'all stress free? Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm not a stress free person. Something that helps me, my skincare, that is like something that always makes me feel really good. A shower, a walk, like simple things. It's honestly for me, it's like the simple things that I feel like help me feel better. It's just knowing whenever you are in those stressful moments, like to remember those things. Cause I don't even really remember those things when I'm really stressed. I'm just like, I'm stressed. I don't know what to do. I do not know what I'm doing, bro. <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> team Edward or Team Jacob? That's easy. Honestly, neither. <laughs> I actually was not even allowed to watch Twilight whenever it came out. I've never even watched it. Like, uh, if I'm we're going based right off now. of what they look like, Team Jacob. I'm Team Jacob only because I want to be a werewolf because I don't want to live forever and watch all my homies die. Edward looks better. Edward looks better than Jacob. Have you seen Edward right now? Yes. Hey, Edward got it, man. What? How long have you guys been together? We have been together for almost three years. Three years in March. March. How many times a week do you work out? If you would have asked me that like six months ago, <laughs> I'd say average of five. I was there steady all the time, but I have definitely fell off and I need to pick it back up. Yeah, both of us, we have not been working out. I worked out last week once, but... Good. Collegiate sports burnt me out. You know that sound like, ooh. It's been, today drained me. Today drained me. That was me every single day, okay? What are your favorite online stores to shop? Amazon. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's the one I do the most, at least. Um, mm -hmm. Amazon package every day. Okay, not really, but sort of. Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova's been pretty, pretty good recently. Ooh, J Lux label, oh my god. My favorite online shop, sneakers. Oh yeah. Sneakers yeah. for sure. Look at you. Copying the hell out of me. Okay, if you could visit any country, where would it be? Mm, Ooh, exciting what? question. We like that one. Any place? I'm going to Japan. Japan. <laughs> yeah. Japan is like our dream. <gasps> I really want to go to Dubai. I'm messing this up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so focused right now. Sweet. Ooh, pet peeves. <laughs> You sound like you know something. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves that he does, this man eats his food. I'm a slow eater. <laughs> <laughs> this man eats his food so fast. And then since I'm not done with my food, he thinks that means that he's allowed to have some of my food too, which is not the case because I like to enjoy my food. I'm also a leftover person. Like, I love leftovers. But I knew this is the thing. Eat. No, wait, 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 wait. She wait, won't wait. eat her leftovers, I so I'll have no. to eat her leftovers. No. But she's like, oh, it's been in there three days. The next day that I have leftovers, and he will be like, oh, this is mine? No, it's not yours. It's mine. <laughs> I didn't finish eating it. I always eat my leftovers. Don't even sit here in front. No, you don't. I usually eat them. I ate your pizza already. I, I have to keep tabs on my food around here. Mm -hmm. What's my pet peeve? Oh, I'll yeah. tell you my pet peeve. My pet peeve, and it doesn't even have to do with her because... That's what we're talking about. I no, thought. it just said pet peeves. Uh -oh. You just wanted to target me. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, if you litter, oh, yeah. if I, I like see you throw trash either. on the ground, oh. I instantly lose all respect for you. That's just, wow. Why yeah. would you do that? Wow. I don't like when I don't understand how somebody in their head could be like... <laughs> The other thing is when somebody's throwing away water bottle and leaves water in the, <laughs> bottle, in the bottle, yes. Pour it out, <laughs> put it in a plant, or drink something, it. but you're throwing away a closed water bottle that's still halfway full. <sighs> Are you done already? I am done. Oh, no, yeah, that makes sense. 
What's your advice on creating social media content? Honestly, I could go on forever about advice with social media content. Yeah, because I feel like there's not, it's not limited just to we, just a few things. If you're trying to, I guess, start social media, one, be consistent. Two, you have to really not care about what other people think. You kind of have to have tough skin. Take everything with a grain of salt because I get it that it's hard sometimes. Like, but you have like if you're gonna be on social media and you're gonna be putting yourself out there, at least if you're gonna be being vulnerable which is what I think attracts people is like when you show them your real authentic self you're also opening yourself up to people being judged judgmental like we have gotten lots of rude comments and rude DMs and it's just like you also are putting yourself in a position to be judged and to be criticized. Yeah, just be consistent. Find you a niche. Yeah. Get on like YouTube and just watch videos. And yeah, videos learn, and videos. Learn. learn. Be a student. Try and go back to the drawing board. Try another one. Go back to the drawing board. A lot of trial and error. But um, <laughs> that did. I was hoping it would maybe stick. Thank you you used all your candy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's gonna finish. Yeah, but I think mine looks really good so far. Maybe we'll do a time lapse. So this is mine. Isn't she pretty? Make sure you she's show very, you know, like basic Christmas Wonderland, you know, we're like sticking with the, as neutral as we could go. And we just stuck with the, you know, the basic green and red because that's what everybody loves. And unfortunately, um, <laughs> one of the windows, unfortunately, um, is got covered by snow. So it covered all the, the Christmas lights right here. Um, so that's why you can't see that. But yeah, this is her, Team Kalia. Yeah. Make sure you show them the back and the side of the house. They don't, they're not allowed to come to the backyard. They was closed off the gates. They, the, the gates were snowed shut. Now y'all get to see the real deal. Holy field. Dun, da, da, da. Look at that. Now that is a Christmas gingerbread house. Go and vote for the person you know did better. Leave it down in the comments below. Who do you think had the better gingerbread house? Your girl Kalia, come on now. Let's We're team James over here. This looks like a 12 year old did it, no, no offense, but a <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed our video. We appreciate you guys for watching and yeah, we'll see you guys in on the next one. Love y'all and be kind, be kind to one, one another. another.